The COVID-19 pandemic is the most concerning event in the world right now. In this video, we will introduce the following topics. 1. What a coronavirus is and how it affects a human body. 2. How it spreads and why it is dangerous. And 3. Advice on preventing COVID-19. A virus is an infectious agent that cannot reproduce by itself. A virus usually consists of a piece of hereditary material, DNA or RNA, and a layer of protein and lipid that encapsulates the hereditary material. A virus cannot survive for long periods outside of a host cell. The virus behind the disease known as COVID-19 is called SARS-CoV-2, which is a coronavirus. Human coronaviruses were first identified in the 1960s. There are many of them, and they are the cause of common colds and sometimes more serious diseases, such as SARS in 2002, MERS in 2012, and COVID-19. Coronaviruses are RNA viruses. Since the hereditary material carried inside them is a piece of single-stranded RNA, RNA viruses are more likely to mutate than DNA viruses. The single-stranded RNA is encapsulated by several layers of proteins and lipids. A coronavirus is called a coronavirus because of these crown-shaped spikes that stem from their surface. These crown-shaped spikes bind to receptors on specific types of human cells, letting the hereditary material into the cell. Once the hereditary material in a virus enters its whole cell, it hijacks the cell cellular machinery to replicate the viral RNA and structural elements, creating many new viruses to infect other undamaged cells. In this way, viruses can inhibit functions of a human body very quickly and make a person feel sick. In the case of SARS-CoV-2 virus, these crown-shaped spikes bind to a specific kind of receptor called the ACE2 receptors. These receptors are found in many parts of the body, including in some cells called type 2 pneumocytes and small air sacs of the lungs called alveoli. These cells are responsible for producing a substance called a surfactant, which prevents these tiny air sacs from collapsing on themselves. Once too many cells are damaged in an air sac, it does not have enough surfactant to hold up its structure, and it collapses. This leads to difficulty in breathing. Note that this is not the only way that the virus can endanger a human body. The immune response can also lead to danger for an infected person. In the body's attempt to destroy viruses, elements of the immune response proteases and cytokines, can also harm the air sacs and the productive cells and cause further damage. Current research suggests that the primary mode of transmission for SARS-CoV-2 virus is through respiratory droplets. A virus might come out of the respiratory canal of a patient while they expel respiratory droplets by sneezing or coughing, or even by talking or singing. These droplets can be spread at least 3 to 6 feet, and possibly more, and the virus in a droplet may survive for 24 hours or more on some surfaces like metal and plastic. One reason why this virus is dangerous is because studies show that people can be contagious before they are symptomatic, which means they could potentially be spreading it without even knowing it. Unlike the coronavirus that caused common colds, SARS-CoV-2 is also dangerous because it has a relatively high case fatality rate. The case fatality rate of a virus, or its mortality rate, is calculated by the number of deaths divided by the total number of people infected by the virus. The case fatality rate of COVID-19 ranges from less than 1% to around 16% in different countries. This number could potentially be lower, since many people who are infected but do not show any symptoms exist for the COVID-19.
and many people might not have realized that they are infected by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The case fatality rate for typical influenza is less than 0.1% for comparison. A virus may spread very fast if each infected person infects more than one other person. The R0 of a virus represents the average number of people that an infected person spreads the virus to. With everything else equal, a higher R0 means that a virus is spreading faster. When a virus has an R0 greater than 1, it spreads exponentially. When R0 is less than 1, new cases of infection will decline. There is no confirmed cure or vaccine for COVID-19 yet. Scientists are working hard to develop treatments for people who are infected and vaccines to prevent further infections. While we wait for scientists to do this work, it is crucial for us to keep the virus from spreading fast right now. Although we cannot completely wipe out the virus before we have a vaccine, and we might not see a significant decrease in the total number of cases, Minimizing new cases will decrease the number of patients and prevent our healthcare infrastructure from being overwhelmed. This is important because medical resources in the U.S. and around the world are limited, and by keeping the number of patients below the capacity of hospitals, we can reduce the number of deaths before a vaccine is developed. To control the spreading speed of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, we have the following recommendations. Stay at home if you can. Even with all the preventions that one might take, there is no way of ensuring 100% prevention from being infected if you come close to an infected person. Staying as far away from other people can ensure the highest safety of you and your family. Disinfect items that come into your house, particularly if you have reason to believe that they have been touched by many other people. It is important to wash your hands often, carefully and thoroughly, especially before touching any part of the body with them. Since viruses may survive for some time on surfaces, you can potentially transfer viruses into your body by touching your eyes, mouth, or nose if you don't wash your hands carefully. If you have to go out, stay socially distanced and wear face masks. The CDC recommends staying at least 6 feet apart from each other, and you should attempt to stay at least 15 feet when you are walking or running. Taking good precautions for COVID-19 and educating yourself about relevant scientific information will help you and the world.